What's going on, everybody? Rob A here, and today we're taking a look at Titans Return, Transformers, Aimless, and Misfire. Now, I'm not the biggest, uh, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna say biggest fan. I'm not that knowledgeable, honestly, about Misfire. I believe he was a target master way back in the day. Um, I know he sucks at shooting, which, you know, goes in the name, basically. Um, but honestly, I picked this guy up basically because he is a retool of Trigger Happy, and Trigger Happy is one of my absolute favorite Titans Return figures, so I'm hoping uh, that this guy will kind of prove to be just as enjoyable for me. Uh, you can see he is very pinkishy purple, which is kind of cool. Uh, he's got some very nice tampos on his legs and uh, some symbols, Decepticon symbols, I should say, on his shoulders. Uh, he's got twin blasters. He's got a lot of uh, just nice jagged edges on him, I guess. And uh, flipping around to the back, we can see that, of course, the Titans Return figures are all cross-compatible uh, with each other. We've got Ramhorn there, who I've yet to see uh, in a store. But anyway, uh, this guy transforms in 10 steps. Misfire can, of course, or Aimless, rather, can fit inside the cockpit. And he does have a little blurb here. I'm going to skip over the first part. It's the same for everything. Aimless gives Misfire an ultra-powerful ion particle fire blast. Unfortunately, it does not improve the low-grade targeting skill of Misfire. When they unite, Autobots and Decepticons go running for cover. Okay, that's pretty great. So, he gets super powerful, but is still, you know, like, uh, Stormtrooper level <clears throat> inaccurate. So that's really, uh... Fun, actually. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this guy. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy open, and we will check him out in hand in just a moment. All right, guys, so before we get into the review, I just want to show you really quickly the uh, collector card that comes with Misfire here. He's got missiles just firing all around him. Um, and, of course, the Titan Master uh, Aimless popping down on his dome piece there, or probably known as his dome piece, I guess is the more accurate. And you can see his stats here. His firepower is quite terrible. Uh, his intelligence is nothing to, <laughs> nothing to write home about either. Uh, he's pretty much just kind of crummy all around. So uh, classic grunt here, but he does get a little bit better once Aimless enters the picture. Uh, the intelligence, not so much, just, you know, I guess this would be just straight up average intelligence to slightly above average into or above a, yeah slightly above average I guess um, going by those numbers but anyway that's enough of the collector card let's go ahead and get into the figure itself all right guys so here we have Misfire and his uh, what what am I calling these things uh <laughs> titan master my goodness i i cannot remember for the life of me that these guys are titan masters and i mean can you blame me well you probably can't don't answer that please <laughs> but um it's just such a weird term you know i, I want to say headmaster i want to say target master i know neither of those are correct but titan master just doesn't seem correct because it's a deluxe size figure it's not a titan so it doesn't make s whatever anyway here is misfire and Aimless, his Titan Master. And as you can see, it's a very cool looking uh, space jet thing. We got some nice paint apps in here. <clears throat> some nice tampo on the wings and on the, the back of the jet, which will become the legs. Um, so some really nice stuff going on here. Other than that, it's super, super pinky purple fuchsia, whatever color, color you want to call it. Um, it is that for sure. Um, he definitely has, uh, influences from Trigger Happy, you know, being based on the same, same base mold, but there are a lot of differences as well, so we'll get into that, uh, a little bit further on. There's no landing gear, which is kind of strange, like the, the underside of the, the jet just kind of, whoop, there's just kind of an empty space right here. Uh, unless I'm missing something, you guys can let me know if there's, like, some secret thing uh, that I need to do that I haven't done. But uh, as far as I can tell, there's no landing gear uh, for this guy. But uh, beyond that, pretty pretty neat. It does have a little post hole back here for, uh, you know, an, an action stand or whatever. And uh, beyond that, I mean, maybe this is supposed to be, like, a, a landing gear of sorts, but... Uh, 
and then of course on the front or on the chest but then he's he's just leaning right onto the chest so you, you got to worry about the paint uh, there so just you know things to think about uh, he's got some weapons on the side here these you can of course uh, unpeg <clears throat> from the side and you can just tab them together to form the uh, gun chair uh, that Titans Return really loves to have the old gun chair and uh, I don't know if there's any place to actually put this on the vehicle mode but I did say that about Windblade and I was totally wrong there uh, but as far as I can tell it doesn't, it doesn't peg in anywhere there so, uh, no no I don't think so and again if you guys know something I don't please uh, please let me know I'm sure you will uh, but yeah you get the gun chair going on there that's that's fine and dandy uh, one thing to note is that uh, <laughs> the arms do not peg in very solidly uh, in the sides of the jet mode so just be careful of that um, also there's not really a whole lot of places to actually put the guns in vehicle mode it's just the one spot on the side here uh, to just plug it under the wings uh, so you got that going on. So there you go. All right. So transformation on this guy is fairly simple. We're just going to go ahead and unpeg the arms if they haven't unpegged themselves. And we're going to go ahead and swing the arms up. And as we're doing it, we're going to you know use your thumb or whatever to uh, actually got to unpeg that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to bring this wing section around. So it's like going forward and then this is going back so basically you're just gonna get that going on so this is you know better one better two so we're gonna lift this up because it does actually peg onto the arm it's a little hard to see there's a slot there and a peg there uh, and so we're just gonna bring this forward and swing the swing the wing around as we do so just like that <clears throat> next we're gonna bring the legs back down here just going to extend those, separate them, and then swing the uh, pelvis up, and that's going to not really lock into place, but it's going to like peg in, and it does so fairly well, so it's not a problem. Bring the feet down and separate the toes from the heel spur, or the toe, I guess, in this case. So you got that going on. Now we're going to make sure that the... Uh, whole front section here is unlocked because we're going to lift this part up and get aimless out of the cockpit and then we can close that back up and bring this whole section down and alongside the back just like that make sure the uh, arms are pegged in to the shoulders and then bring the fists out just like that and just like that and then we can uh, position the wings sort of back like that. And let's take a look at Aimless really quickly here. And one cool thing about this guy is that he actually has some paint on him. Woo! Uh, so here is Aimless. And as you can see, he does have painted on face, which is really nice and really picks out those details very nicely in the, fa in the face sculpt. Uh, which makes it even more of a shame that the other uh, Titan Masters don't seem to have paint apps or very little. You know, usually just the eyes, if anything. Um, and he's got a lot of different colors on his body, just in general. And we can close this up just like this, fold this over, and now here is Miss Fire's head sculpt. And it's very simple, but it gets the job done. It looks pretty good. And we can go ahead and attach that. And there we have Misfire. And, you know, I showed this off plugged together. You can, of course, put your Titan Master in there if you want to. Uh, or you can separate it and give him a weapon in each hand. Not that he can hit anything, right? Right. Uh, so there you go. So, I mean, yeah, he's pretty cool. He's got some uh, decent articulation. He's got the head uh, is on a ball joint. 
Yeah, he's got not ball jointed shoulders, but he's got a rocker uh, at the shoulder where it, you know hits the hits the body, and then he does have just a swivel right there. Uh, he does have a bicep swivel here. He's got a decent elbow. Uh, you get a little wrist from the transformation joint. He does have a waist swivel, which is also nice. He's got ball jointed hips, a thigh swivel here and a very nice deep knee bend, as well as some articulation in the feet uh, just due to transformation joints and things like that. So overall, um, <clears throat> I think it's it's a bit of a step back from Trigger Happy. Uh, I think Trigger Happy was just a really, really nice figure, and I think it might still be my favorite uh, Titans Return toy overall. But uh, this guy's not bad. He's not bad at all. Uh, but he's just not quite on par, in my opinion, with Trigger Happy. Uh, he is very, very purple, though. <laughs> so you got that going on. Yeah. But uh, overall, a nice, solid figure. Uh, really fun to transform and mess around with. I just you got to watch those legs, though. I will say that's the first time his leg fell off, and I think it's only because I actually uh, accidentally pushed it past the past the point there, because uh, I, I was getting a little too uh, getting a little too handsy apparently with this guy. Uh, but yeah, overall, a solid figure. Um, if you can find him and you're interested in the molds, go ahead and pick them up. You're not going to be disappointed. But, uh, you know, I don't think it's really, uh, you know, move mountains to try and get this guy. Especially if you have Trigger Happy. You're not really missing out on anything. But uh, that, guys, is going to do it for this review. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll have more Transformers coming real soon. So stick around for that. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.